Hi everybody! Uh, before we start, I want to give a shout out to bootstrapboard.com for sending me this uh, whiteboard. Look! Aha! Look at that! Oh! It also come with this are like... sided tape, I think. Oh yeah! Okay! Oh, look at that! I think I can tape this on the wall, huh? Mm -hmm. And I think I'm just going to use it like loosely like this though. So that I can actually just record videos on this or maybe do math on my own. Like this. So I don't have to use scratch paper. You know, and then it also comes with little magnets and also uh, two little markers. I'm excited because now I can actually do math on this. It's... What's up, Oreo? Can you say hi? Hi! Is it possible? Oh my god, look at this. To have a function? That is differentiable one time at some x value, let's say x is equal to a, but not dable again at x equal to a. So in another word, my question is, if you have a function, is it possible to get the first derivative there, but the second derivative actually doesn't exist? What do you guys think? <laughs> Hopefully you guys all pause the video and give it a try. And in fact, this right here, it's of course, yes. And let me just give you guys an example. And when you have a function that's not differentiable, of course, the famous example is the absolute value of x. So I'm going to actually utilize the idea, the absolute value of x, it's not differentiable at zero, right? This is the piecewise definition of absolute value. And I just have to kind of think back. I'm going to create a function. I will just call this is equal to f of x equals to Hmm, I want a derivative of this function to become the absolute value of x. And why do I want that? Because if I can have the derivative of this function to become absolute value of x, in fact, the derivative of this function will exist as zero. And this function is particularly equal to the following. You just have to ask yourself, derivative of what will give you negative x? Well, this is just a power situation, so we can just do this. I am going to add 1 to the exponents. You know, you bring the 2 to the front, minus 1, so you get x to the first power, right? But I also want to make sure I have the negative 1. Uh, I'm going to just multiply this by negative 1 half. So in this case, you see, if you differentiate this, bring the 2 to the front, you get negative 1, and then minus 1, you get x to the first power. That's nice. And this is if x less than 0. And similarly, right here, I will just put down one half x squared if x is greater than or equal to zero. And now check this out. The derivative of this function is precisely the absolute value of x, f prime of zero. This right here actually exists because I can plug in zero into this, and then the answer to this is just absolute value of zero, which is zero. But as we all know, if I differentiate this again, the derivative of absolute value, you get negative 1 and 1. There's going to be a jump. And right here, I will say x is less than 0. And this right here is x is greater than 0. This right here, I cannot plug in 0 anymore. Notice f prime of 0 doesn't exist. So I just put down d and e. And you know, I will just show you guys the graph before we go. This right here is the parabola but that you have the negative one half so it's going to look like this this is the negative half x squared when x is less than zero and then on the other hand when you have one half x squared you have this so this is how this function looks like and clearly you can see the first derivative is actually zero right here and this is legitimate but the moment you differentiate this you get the famous absolute value of x that's f prime of x and then if you look at the graph right here, you get negative one and one, but you have the open circle. And let's see, uh, I'm just going to erase this right here. This is f double prime of x. So it's just like how we come up with an example to show this is actually possible when you have a function that's dable one time at x is equal to some number, but it's not dable again. <laughs> the first derivative is okay, but the second derivative is not okay at the same point. So here you have it, that's the example. Okay, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. And of course, if you guys like this video and if you guys want to check out the board, be sure you guys go check out the link 
in the description. Check out the link and if you guys use the link, you guys can get a 10% off discount. Yeah. Bye.